Hi, I'm Joe, a family handyman. Today I'm going to show you how to build this beautiful portable sauna. You can build this in your garage, flat pack it on a trailer, and take it up to your cabin. Make an outer frame out of green treated 2x4s. Then make an inner frame that attaches to the inside of the outer frame. Lay 2x4s down to let the inner frame stick up an inch and a half from the top edge of the outer frame. Moving on to building walls. First, rip a 15 degree angle down the center of a 2x4 for the top board of the front and back walls. Hold the top and bottom boards of the front wall together and draw lines where each stud will be attached. Lay out all the boards on a flat surface and using 3 inch screws, attach all the studs to the top and bottom boards at the lines you made. Attach a 2x4 for the header of your doorway. Using the 15 degree fall off piece from the front top wall you ripped, assemble the back wall frame in the same manner you did the front wall. Now we're going to move on to building the side walls. Before you start cutting any boards, you want to grab a few dimensions. Start by measuring the height of your front wall from the bottom board to the long point of the top board. Then measure your back wall from the bottom board to the short point of the top board. Cut a two by two the width of your wall for the bottom board. Next, cut a 15 degree angle on the end of four eight foot two by fours and eight eight foot two by twos. Place your bottom 2x2 down, then one of your 8-foot 2x2s with the 15-degree angle for the top board. Place two of the 8-foot 2x4s with the 15-degree angles so they butt against the top board. Now, move the bottom board to the height of your front and back wall. Make pencil marks on the 2x4s, then cut them to length to match the front and back wall. Attach the two 2x4s to the bottom board first, then attach the top 2x2 two two to the 2x4 two stud. I cut myself some spacer blocks to put between each stud. Cut yourself a riser block to set your stud on also. This will make laying out the studs much easier. Then make a mark and cut it to length. Repeat the process for the remaining studs. Attach it with three inch screws. Add bracing to the back wall and side wall studs where the two benches will be attached. Also, add bracing to the left wall for mounting the heater. Now I have all the walls built, time to put the siding on. You want to start with the side walls. So you want to put the siding on the outside of the wall. Put the outside of the wall facing up. Hold it in place with a few clamps to drive a few nails along the bottom edge. Now square up the wall to the long edge of your siding and hold it in place. As before, tack it with a few nails. Trim off the siding along the top edge of the wall using a router with a flush trim bit. Attach the front and back wall siding in the same process as you did the side walls. The only difference is after you've squared up the siding with the wall frame, draw a line on the underside of the siding along the top board. Then cut a 15 degree angle along the line. You also need to let the siding hang over two and a quarter inches on both sides of the wall. Cut out the door opening on the front wall, again using a router with a flush trim bit. The back wall is the same process. Now that I have all the siding attached to the wall frames, time to insulate. I'm using this inch and a half foam insulation. You can rip it on a table saw or cut it with a utility knife and a straight edge. 
it just friction fits in between each stud space. And then remember to cut the angle at the top. Cut and attach foil vapor barrier to the interior of all four walls using a staple gun. Seal the edges and any seams with foil tape. Now that I have all the vapor barrier attached to the walls, it's time to attach the ship lap. But before I do, we need a vapor gap between the vapor barrier and the back of the ship lap. I've attached quarter inch strips on each stud space, an inch and a half from each end, and two and a quarter from the bottom. Attach the ship lap to each stud using inch and a quarter finish nails. When you reach the top of the side walls, let the pieces overhang the angle, then trim off the pieces using a router with a trim bit. Finishing off the base, first insulate it, then add vapor barrier and cover it with three quarter inch plywood. Attach the floor to the base using inch and a half screws. Moving on to assembling walls. First, set the back wall on the base, then set one of the side walls on the base and clamp it to the back wall using bar clamps. Check to make sure the top of the walls line up. Then secure the side wall to the back wall using lag screws. Tip in the side wall and attach it to the back wall. Then move on to the front wall. All right, all the walls assembled. Time to start the roof. After measuring the length and width of the top opening of the sauna, move on to building the roof frame out of two by twos. The top and back boards of the frame both get 15 degree angles. Then attach two by two studs equally spaced. Now that I have my frame built, I've attached it to my roof deck, which I cut out of three quarter inch plywood. I've insulated the stud space with the foam insulation, added a vapor barrier, and of course we need our quarter inch strips for the vapor gap. Then I'm gonna cover the whole ceiling with the cedar ship lap. Next, add cedar trim around the perimeter of the roof. Starting at what will be the back or bottom of the roof, Peel and stick ice and water roof shield to the deck, overlapping it three inches as you work your way up the roof. Cut corrugated roof panels so they overhang the roof deck a minimum of two inches. Peel and stick foam enclosure at the top and bottom edges of the roof deck. Next, stick butyl tape between each panel. Be sure to overlap the panels a minimum of three inches. Attach the corrugated roof panels using special roofing screws. With a helper, lift the roof onto the sauna walls and set it into place. Seal the siding with exterior paint or deck stain. Then attach cedar trim to all four exterior corners of the sauna. Build benches out of cedar and attach them to the back and side walls into the bracing. All right, I got my door installed. One thing to note about a door on a sauna is you always want it to open out, never in. Also, you never want to put a lock on a sauna door. So I have this ball catch mechanism that works well for that. Time to talk about how to heat a sauna. A couple different ways of doing that. You can buy a wood burning stove for a sauna. They make propane gas. We went with an electric. This one plugs right into household current. We recommend you hire a certified technician to install any gas or electric appliance. Okay, we got the heater installed. One final thing before you turn the heater on, you wanna build yourself a guardrail so if you bump into it, you don't burn yourself. We're gonna install that right now.
That's the final touch. Now let's pack it up and move it to our location. That's it, it's all set up, ready for use. It turned out great. For more projects like this, head over to familyhandyman.com. <laughs>